Let's look now at how we can work with local styles and variables within the CSS. We have updated the design board to now reflect several different styles for this project. As you can see, when you open your project and have nothing selected, you can view the local styles along the right side. In this case, we have type, color, and effects. If you want to view what the default coding is, for instance, for this type, you can right click, select edit style, and it shows you what the CSS and the code is for that font family, size, style, height, etc. related to that type. As you can note, simply viewing the code alone actually doesn't reveal that much. Sometimes it's worth toggling to the table view to see additional CSS properties. And so this would allow the designer and the software developer to set a variable called, for instance, tutorial type button, and then use that variable throughout the CSS code whenever they want to style the text for a particular button, for instance. In a similar manner, you can create variables for color. And in this case, we have a, a variable for black and for blue. You can again view the style by right-clicking, select edit style, and you can see what the code is for that style. Now again, it's very important to, I think, toggle always between code and between the table view. As you can see here in the table view, it's actually presenting the um, background color, which isn't the actual color here, but you want to go to see what the fill color is, and that's where we get the blue from. And the same can be said for the drop shadow uh, styling. If you want to see the actual code for that, you have to move away from the code view into the table view, and then you see the other properties about that drop shadow. How will you, this appear when you're looking with a actual layer? In this case, we have selected the text from the label button, and we can see when we look in the code view that above the font family, it has now inserted tutorial-type-button. This means that the code right underneath that comes from the variable tutorial type button. We also see that above the color now, it has inserted the words tutorial dash color dash black. This is the variable for that particular color within the set. And so therefore, when you were coding this, one would, instead of putting in the actual background hex code into the CSS, you would call the variable tutorial color black, and then you would have defined that variable elsewhere in the code base. Similar to the font, you wouldn't go in and specify all this font manually within this particular button. Instead, you would call the variable for that type setting. Some other examples, if we select this platter here, we see that it's calling for its color, the tutorial dash color dash blue. And so it's very important to assume that, or at least in the mockups which are being handed off in some groups, that a lot of text variables and color variables will be used throughout it. And you should therefore always be on the lookout for this thin gray text right above a part of the code, which might suggest that it's calling a variable. But don't get to forget confused because the exact same text and styling is used at the top of every single layer simply to define the layer height as well as to provide other types of information. I do think that it's a bit confusing the way that this uh, defines it, but that's just how it is. And you'll also note that if you switch to the table view, it'll sometimes then say directly fill color style tutorial dash color blue. So it's perhaps a little bit more obvious here. Or if you click on the text here, it'll say text style, tutorial dash type dash button. And so always be on the lookout for the use of variables throughout the code base.